Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Sagittarius for the month of May. This is for Sagittarius for the month of May. What do we got? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind that this is for any time in May. Don't give up. Okay, you look how far you've come. Don't give up. You may feel like you're doubting yourself. You may be growing weary, but you have come so far. Do not give up. You know, hold your head up high. Your hard work is paying off. Your determination. Oh, God. There's that abusive individual again. Who is this person? Maybe you could be dealing with somebody who is abusive towards you, somebody who neglects you, somebody who mentally abuses you verbally, physically, whatever. This is abuse. Maybe you need to protect yourself. Maybe you need to set some boundaries. You may be in a situation where there's no growth. Maybe it's stealing your energy. It's bringing you down. You could be dealing with somebody who is, you know, very negative in your life. And maybe you probably do need to protect yourself. You, you probably need to defend yourself from this vampire. This, this is like a psychic vampire. This is an energy thief. You're dealing with an energy thief who is negative and they're stealing your energy. Same story, right? Protect yourself. Don't give up. Be the warrior that you are. Don't let this person bring you down. Show them what you are made of. Love yourself. Love yourself. That's what I saw instantly. There could be some family feuds going on at home. There could be some family issues, maybe with your parents or with your children or family members, siblings, whatever. There's some family issues going on here. Family feuds, perhaps. And you absolutely, positively need to protect yourself, defend yourself. You probably feel like you are walking on eggshells. You could be dealing with a miserable individual who just, they, I think we've already talked about this, Sagittarius. I don't want to go backwards. Son of a gun. You are definitely dealing with somebody who <laughs> doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions. Somebody that is an energy thief. Somebody that, uh... It always wants to fight with you. It's like it's a constant battle, constant bickering, constant back and forth. You know, I don't know. Maybe it's even your, I mean, maybe you're, maybe you're your own worst enemy. That could certainly be the case. You could be abusing yourself with alcohol or drugs or something like that. I mean, I don't know where that's coming from, but whatever. I just see it. Oh, I just happened to look down. I see the abuse and I looked over underneath it. Anyway, maybe you need to love yourself. Maybe you need to love yourself. Maybe, maybe you, you, you know, this is kind of, you could call this hate and this love. It's love versus hate. This is something coming out, something being revealed. This is a revelation of some sort, some truth being revealed, something coming to light. This is the this is when somebody finds the moral backbone and the integrity to, to do the right thing. Somebody could be extending an apology even. I don't even know for focused. I got into that one pretty fast, didn't I? And you're probably having to get into it pretty fast too because people are poking you. Anyhow, um... You need to focus. Focus, focus, focus. I know it's not easy. You may be like, you know, this isn't any fun. And I know it doesn't look like it's fun to me either. But I think it is this, it's the moment, it's the time where you have to find that backbone, that your backbone, your moral backbone to rise above this drama that you are involved in and take charge of your life. 
don't let illusions get in the way. This is seeing a situation. Clearly, you may be, be try. You may have been trying to escape the hard work. Anyhow, Sagittarius, there's an opportunity for emotional contentment, for emotional happiness here. It's like once you wake up, once you see the light that it's in your hands, the opportunity is in your hands and happiness is in your hands. Nobody else is nobody's, nobody's, nobody's. There's lack of happiness, lack of happiness. It's in your hands. This is, this is manifestation. This person has the Ace of Pentacles. This is the manifestation. You can manifest happiness, but hey... If you think negatively, if you abuse yourself and, you know, and you let those negative, angry thoughts get the best of you, well, you know, you have to find that, that moral backbone to take charge of your life and say, no, I'm going to think positive. I'm going to be happy no matter what. And if anybody tries to steal your happiness, you need to push them away. Get out of my space. Or turn and walk away. If somebody is threatening your sanity, if they are making you angry and upset and they're causing you to be resentful and angry and bitter and hurt and hurt and you're trying to escape the reality of it and you're, you're just wanting, they're causing you to fight and it's like they, they want to fight with you, turn around and walk away. Go find your emotional fulfillment, your wish fulfillment, eight of cups to the nine of cups, someplace else. Time out. Take a break. Go within, refocus. Is where you are at right now emotionally fulfilling? Are you happy where you're at right now? What can you do? Nobody else. Don't expect help from anybody else. What can you do to bring happiness? Think about it because that's what that's in your hands. Happiness is literally in your hands. So I think that this month there may be some bickering, unfortunately. There be, you may be faced with some drama in which you have the power to walk away and find your own inner happiness by disregarding the whole situation instead of getting involved. Don't let these people step over the line. Okay, don't let them. They get too close, retreat. Retreat. This is both retreat. Retreat, Capricorn. This is retreat. Okay? This is retreat. Did I say Capricorn? Or did I say Sagittarius? I don't know. I'm not going to go back. This is for Sagittarius. This is make a decision, stick to it. Now this says also, be careful. He's saying, hold up, think about this for a second. Make sure you choose wisely because what you own, owns you. This is make a decision and stick to it. Decide. To retreat and walk away from feuds, from fights, from unhappy situations. If it steals your energy and it brings your vibration down, see ya. I'm not, I am too good to argue. I don't have anything to prove. It's like refinding your innocence.
nurture that child within, protect that child, protect yourself, protect your inner child. Think about your childhood. Think about you. Think about you when you were a child. Protect that child. Would you let somebody treat your child like that? Protect your inner child. If it's going to hurt your inner child or your child, push it. Push it away. A lot of you are holding on to something. Could be out of greed. Could be because it's stable, right? It's stable, financially stable. You may be holding on to something, maybe because there's a roof over your head or it provides some sort of stability, but that's it. Some of you could be holding on for the children. That could be the case. <clears throat> But this is wanting love, wanting romance. But not getting the love that you desire. It's like I see that you want love and you want happiness and you want, you know, you probably have a lot of love to offer. Maybe that's why you're hanging on because you're trying to love this person or love this, you know, you're trying to... You know, give unconditional love. I don't know what the hell this is, but this is like you guys are holding on to a situation out of... Maybe you're trying to support somebody emotionally and they're stealing your energy. They're over, definitely overstepping their boundaries. You could be holding on to somebody that's emotionally unavailable. Somebody doesn't know how to love. Somebody doesn't have anything to... Somebody doesn't have any love to offer. Maybe you need to be more playful. Now, this is a person that lacks emotion. This could be you. I don't know. This is somebody that really doesn't feel with their heart. I don't know who this person is, but this is, this is telling me that Somebody needs to unblock their, their heart. Or protect their heart. From an energy thief that doesn't love them. Son of a gun. This is a need to be more playful. A need to have some fun. It's very emotional. I think there's a lot of ups and downs here. I think that this is a very emotional time. <clears throat> this is emotional support though. This is holding on to this is holding on to something stable and solid. But it's out of greed for the wrong reasons. This is the death of an idea. Time out again. Take a break. Heal your heart. Follow your heart. Follow your heart. Don't let financial stability hold you back. Follow your heart in May. A lot of you are thinking about walking away from a situation that you are holding on to for I don't know what reason. I'm here to tell you to follow your heart. My advice is follow your heart. Find the moral backbone to do the right thing, to take charge and rise above this situation. You have the skills to start over and be financially stable. You, you can do it. Do it for your children or your inner child or whoever it is that needs to be nurtured because something needs to be loved here and it has to do with your heart. time to take the reins in your own life take the lead be the boss you're in charge be the king of the road move quickly it's time to replace that fear with faith and get your ass moving
Master your emotions and take the reins in your life. Put yourself in the driver's seat. Put the pedal to the metal and get out of this situation. So I do see in May, this is the overall energy. That's what's going to happen. Somebody is going to find the mental strength to take back control of their life after being brought down by, <clears throat> again, that miserable, abusive individual that stole their energy for too long. So this is moving forward. And that is what I have, Sagittarius, for May. Congratulations. You are headed towards victory and success. But it starts with self-love. The wisest man keeps his mouth shut. Turns around and walks away. So I see you guys traveling to a new destination. Moving, moving. Forward movement. Hopefully towards something more emotionally fulfilling. Is this about new love? I don't think so. I don't. I think this is self-love. I think this is following your heart. Letting go of your old ways. Letting go of the old ideas. Letting go of your old negative thoughts as well. I see you doing a lot of negative thinking, Sagittarius, too, so... You know, don't be pointing the finger at everybody else because you're in charge of your happiness. The moment you point your finger at me or your brother or your mother or your sister or anybody, you're in denial. The only person that is in charge of your happiness is you and it's about time that you take control of your own happiness. No finger pointing. All that does is delay your success. You're the boss. That's my advice. Follow your heart. Good luck. So what do I have for love? I don't think this is a love reading. This is self-love. There's healing that needs to happen. Because you've had to guard yourself. You've been on defense. You've been, you know, walking on eggshells for so long. Yeah, it's, there's, there's no rush to get into a new relationship until you're healed. Anyway, that's what I got. Good luck, Sagittarius.